It's 150 feet mainline. Jesus. Oh, God. Dog. <laughs> ah. Be careful. <laughs> the air release. Come on. Oh, God. Oh. Jesus. Dude, that smells like baby poop. Oh. Oh my god, there is, there's, no, there, I don't know, but there's something giant on the line. Look at that thing, it looks like a freaking shark. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. We are in a very crowded Walmart parking lot right now because we need some supplies for our fishing adventure today. We're gonna be attempting to catch fish on a way that I have personally never done before. Have you ever done this before, no, man. Andrew? I'm no? nervous. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous too. You're not just nervous because you're walking backwards through the Walmart parking lot, <laughs> which you should be very nervous in that situation. But yeah, what we're doing today, it's it's really unique. I was kind of inspired by my guy, Flair. You know, I went out there in Nebraska, stayed a couple days, learned some of his ways on unique ways to catch fish in the summertime. And this particular way, I'm not even sure what, what it's called, but we're gonna try to make this work. And we think Walmart has all of the gear that we're gonna need for this. So all I can tell you now is we're going to a pond that's known to have some big fish, not just bass, but like catfish, carp, a lot of other big species of fish. So hopefully we can get the stuff we need in here and do something we've never done, catch a fish in a way we've never done it before. Oh my God, that dog. You hear that dog? <laughs> I think was coming for me, man. Let's put the phone down before we die in traffic. Let's get in here and see if they have what we need. It's kind of cloudy right now, but the sun's supposed to come up here in a little bit. It's gonna be a really hot day today. And hopefully the big fish come out to play when it's hot. Eat that beard. <laughs> All right, so we've made it to the catfish section, and uh, admittedly, this is a section where I don't have a lot of experience. Now, one thing I did with our buddy Flair, did a little bit of jug fishing, but this, these cool little things, these are cool, huh, Andrew? Yeah, dude. They're like pre-made, like fish, fish a noodle. <laughs> Had no idea that's what it was called, but uh, okay. God, this mask is so comfortable, dude. <laughs> what it does is it takes the bottom of my beard and it like pushes it up into my mouth. Mm then I'm like chewing on a piece of my beard. It's really nice, really great in the summertime too. But I think what we're really actually looking for here is the old trot line kit, right? Now I have no idea what this is, Andrew. You claim that you know a little bit about this, right? Uh, barely, I've, I've just watched never TV run shows. One. I've never done it. See, me and Flair did some stuff kind of like this. He called it bank lining, but uh, I mean, we'll explain more when we get out on the water, but there's some big catfish in some of these ponds that I fish. In summertime, the bass fishing is so tough, but the catfishing might actually be better, so. I don't know. Let's see here. This is... How many 20... feet long is that? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Got 25 clips <laughs> for 25 hooks. That's all for one line? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Jesus. <laughs> that seems crazy. Um, It's got the swivels, 25 swivels, 150 feet main line. Jesus. Dude, how are we going to get it out there? We have to, Somebody's got the kayak out there with it. Yeah, dude. We'll just have one person like baiting it, the other person with the kayak like paddling out and dragging it, you yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. then like once we get it's all gone, just drop it. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be ridiculous. Let's get a couple of these just in case. Maybe we run like a little cross, cross <laughs> diagonal. Got everything in there though. We got the hooks, oh, we've got the, the clips, got the main line, we've got... Man, this is really intimidating already. So two more questions, Mr. Expert of trot lining. One, what do we connect these things to on the bank? What holds these in the water? I don't know, what do you think? Well, when me and Flair did it, once again, which is the only experience I have, he used a PVC pipe. That way, when a fish gets on it, it's almost like a fishing rod. You right. know what I mean? There's like some give right. to it, rather than tying it to a tree where there's no give at all, and the fish could pull the hook out of their own mouth. Right, what about like a branch? Would a branch not give well, on a tree? Well, I guess you'd have to find the right branch that wouldn't right. snap, yeah. but yeah, that could work. Yeah. Possibly. Just like, what if two 30 pound cats get on there? Right, exactly. And you, you have just a yank PVC the PVC pipe. Well, you shove it into the ground, they're not going to pull it out. Okay. Yeah. I was pretty shocked by that too, but yeah, they can't because it gives like that. Cool. So it makes it tight and they'll just stop pulling and they'll, you know, I don't know. That's cool. But now we need some bait. I have no idea. Okay, you've got all these different kinds of baits. You've got like shad cut bait. Should we just go with like a variety here? Dude, everything. Just everything? Like a bag of everything? That way we can see what works. Well, we're not going to know what works because it's all in one line though. So by the time we reel it in, we'd have to have like counted, yeah, you know, sure. like where we put what. I kind of like the idea of just baiting like every hook with something different. That'd that be way crazy. the odds of us actually catching something probably go through the roof. I think we're just going to go for like a, just a straight up like grab bag here. Let's do like a, a chicken liver, the chicken, or wait, yeah, chicken liver and chicken blood. Mm, okay. It's gonna um, smell terrible. Oh yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. I do want to get some cut bait. Here's some injured bait fish. Got some blood already in there. That's probably gonna be real gross. <laughs> Got some strawberry dough bait. Now there's giant carp in here too. Dude. So this could, we could have like a giant carp, giant catfish double here. Well, we've got like 50 hooks though. So we may only end up running one of these. I'm not sure, but maybe like one more bag or something. Maybe one more bag of just regular cut bait. So we've got four different kinds of baits, two trot lines, 20, uh, what, 150 feet? Is that what it said? Yeah. 150 feet, 20. Ugh. Dude, you got a football field. 
Yeah, yeah, almost. Well, 100 yards, that's 300 feet, but half a football field. So 25 hooks a piece, 50 hooks. If we bait 50 hooks, we have to catch at least one fish, right? At least, dude. Like, that would be, I would think, a safe bet. But what if you had like 10 giant fish on there? How would you even pull it in? <laughs> How are you going to pull in, like, if you had five 20-pound catfish and five 20-pound carps, how in the world are you going to pull that in? <laughs> Honestly, people that do this at home, how do you pull it in? You just know. man up and do it? I guess. <laughs> all right, folks, we've got all the gear we need, we think. We're still not really sure how this is going to work, but if we put our two heads together, we should be able to figure this thing out. So we will see you guys at the water. So before we actually run these trot lines, a bit of safety information for you folks that actually Andrew just brought to my attention. A couple tips on this thing. Now, I've never done it before, but apparently it can be dangerous. If you want to put yourself in the position of a fisherman who has just ran this 150 foot trot line, 25 hooks, 25 pieces of bait, you come back a few hours later, and if you're out on the water and you're checking these lines, this could get really dangerous. I mean, and the way he explained it to me, that actually makes sense. If you're pulling in the line into your boat or to your kayak, you're by yourself, you're not wearing a life jacket, and all of a sudden, you know, the fish that are on there, let's just say there's five big catfish or four big carp or a combination of the two. The point is big fish that can pull really hard if they go crazy and all of a sudden they pull the line back out of your hands and all of a sudden there's hooks stuck in your arm or the line gets wrapped around your arm you get pulled in the water now you're literally like in a fist fight with giant hard pulling fish in the water where people could easily drown and you said there's even like stories of this happening to people and killing them oh yeah dude so i mean i i, I could see it with giant catfish dude like a, like a couple huge flathead catfish they could easily pull you in the water i mean line wrapped around your arm or whatever so anyways all that i say that if you're gonna try this at home do two things for me one make sure there's always somebody with you that that's a helpful piece of information that typically helps keep people alive more often than not and two if you're going to be out on the water doing this have a life jacket on that way these giant fish don't get a hold of you and drag you down to the depths but we have a plan here we're going to bust all this stuff out get this line rigged up we're going to use the old kayak the orange dream sickle kayak to take the line out we've got a little dock right here you guys will notice this dock was the exact dock we've done our food chain fishing challenges on and in this lake we know there are two things there are catfish so i'm assuming there's big catfish too there's also big massive carp and some of these baits carp will eat too so we could we could get a pretty nasty little trot line going here andrew we could get some multi-species giant fish action but we figure a dock we can run one line off each dock diagonally away from the dock into some deep water 150 feet that's a long way dude <laughs> dude 25 lot 25 hooks is a lot to bait it's gonna take us like an hour to bait all these things up and run them out there dude I, i'm excited though no this no it's sick. gonna be great this is gonna be great we're gonna leave them here all day and we're gonna come back and check on them but uh, yeah, let's let's start the process, I suppose. Okay, I'm just gonna like, I'm literally just gonna dump all this out. Okay, I'm just trying to get a feel for what this like actually looks like and what this is. Okay, so what are the blue things for? Is that where you put your clip? I guess so. Wait a second, hold on. But where are they? They're not coming off. You're talking to me like I've done this before or something, dude. I don't know, I certainly have not. The blue things aren't coming off. Oh, there they are. There's, <laughs> there's like two. Okay, they don't move. There's just random planes flying over. Thank drug cartels. <laughs> there's some instructions here. Okay, yeah, we got some instructions. Trot line clips. How to use the clip. Let me finger squeeze out the clip. Um, let's get a clip here. Let's take a look, eh? Oh, yes. It's the strongest plastic known to mankind. Okay. Clip. Okay, yeah, so you got your swivel. Check it out. Got your hook swivel right there. Then you got your main line clip. So I'm assuming, I mean, there's like these two pieces of blue right there, right? Like, I'm assuming you're going to hook, um... How does this work? How does this work, Andrew? How does this work, man? What do you What do you do here? I'm guessing what you're doing. But oh, I see. Hold on. Wait, no, I don't see. Yeah, yeah. You put it like that, and then yeah. Okay. So like that, right? Will that come off? If they're pulling on the hook, I don't see how it could. It seems like it could. No, I mean if you if you're pulling on it, no, you can't. The, the fish is not going to be able to, to push that and then pull it off, right? Unless it swims that way. But even still, it's not going to. It would have to have pressure from that side too. Yeah, true, true. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm assuming that's what these blue things are for, right? Because it's going to hold it in place. Yeah, for sure. So it's not okay. So there's one, and then you would take the hook, which we've got some like little kind of circle hooks. Not even really. I don't even know what kind of hooks these are. I'm gonna put my mouth around the hooks. Yes. Dude, it's so hot. It's, Why is it so hot? It's very hot. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, so we've got this. Um, we need something that's going to attach. I'm pretty sure you tie a rope to every hook to the swivel. I think you're right, which is going to take a year. <laughs> what we might end up doing is just rigging one of these up because it's going to take so freaking long. Yeah, dude. Like, this is... It's going to be a mission. Yeah. Enjoy, uh, enjoy this time lapse that you're about to see. <laughs> Thank you.
we've got all of our little, uh, what do you want to call these, Andrew? Like the leaders? Kind of like the, yeah, good deal. The, uh, I don't know, the cut pieces. Got them all rigged up to a hook on the bottom and a clip on the top. So let's, uh, let's walk this thing. And by walking, I mean, you better have your walking shoes on because it's about a mile long. <laughs> so we got to find the little spots like that. Oh, there's the last clip. I was about to say we're missing a clip yeah, here. Yeah, I couldn't okay. find it. Yeah, well that makes sense. Yeah, so little blue things, little blue guys right here, that's gonna be your uh, spot where you hook your little clip and they hold it in place so that way it's not moving back and forth. There's your, your hook with bait on it. And yeah, so let's put a couple of these bad boys on. Oh, there's another one right there. So we've got uh, some lines run here, obviously, if you guys can see that. We've got, I think we got 24 because we lost like one clip or something, but we've basically got 24. How long this thing is, is just insane. I mean, it just keeps going. It goes way down there to that white cardboard thing. Is this the last couple right here? Yes, sir. How would you put a giant knot in there for, buddy? <laughs> yeah, <that's neat. laughs> yeah, I did that. I was, uh, I was trying to jump rope with them and I just... <laughs> Things got a little weird. The next part of this process, I mean, well, I think the hardest part is going to be how we transport it from here to the dock without getting it tangled. We're gonna have to like snake it up and down like this path or something, but. Well, I mean, we did the only thing we could do. We laid it out flat. That's how you keep it from getting tangled, but now getting it back, one of the, one of these ends back around to the dock, it's gonna be uh, kind of interesting here because we now we've got 25 pieces, of little pieces of string hanging off of one big piece of string. We're gonna have to tie to one of the pillars on the dock end, you know what I mean? Like tie one end to the pillar of the dock and then i take the other end out in my kayak just go straight out in a diagonal line and uh just drop it I, we're gonna have to find some way to weight the end of it though because now that i'm looking at the way these are one side is meant to tie the other side i feel like is meant to put a weight on but we don't have any weights that are kind of appropriate we need like some real big like two ounce you know catfish sinkers or something like that so we got to find like, a rock or something and tie this string around it <laughs> a brick yeah i mean it's literally something something the old-fashioned way i don't yeah, know for sure watch your feet there fandrew oh god uh, like the hooks are getting stuck in the ground. Oh yeah, I'm like, I'm like stuck in the ground. This, this is gonna be so okay. All right, you professional trot liners. We need comments and we need them now, okay? Because we're about to screw this up. Six ways from Sunday. Although I do have a, we did fix the weight problem. Andrew found a little piece of concrete, a little rock in the woods. That'd be perfect. It's a nice little five ouncer right there. <laughs> just drop that bad boy in there and we'll be good to go. Dude, I'm nervous. You're nervous? I just feel like we're about to get hooked or something. What's about to happen, we are about to have the biggest knot in the history of the world. Um, <laughs> when we were talking about it in the store, I don't think we realized how many hooks- Oh! oh Jesus, what is that? <laughs> Broken leg. I don't think we realized how long 150 feet is and how many hooks 25 is because that's that's a lot of line that's just gonna be flopping. So I'm just gonna grab this in and start pulling. Just had to get a little little sound effect in there. Oh nice. Yeah, we're getting a little natural breath, a little natural presentation. I think I wanna tie it. Oh god, I'm stuck on the ground again. Oh, ah! Be careful. <laughs> Dude, somebody's getting hooked today, okay? There's about a million ways me and Andrew could have done this better, and we realized that, but it's too late. <laughs> We're in this. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, so I got what, what we got right here, right? So this is the post that we definitely want to tie to because as I was just telling Andrew, I know for a fact, because I've graphed this small lake before, but the deepest water is from here directly across to the big tree over there nearest to water. So, and this 150 foot cord will probably run about halfway there. So at least we'll have most of our bait in the deepest water. And that's where we figure the biggest bites are gonna come from, right? Just gonna do a big old granny knot, Andrew. I know how much of a fan you are of the granny knots. <laughs> You're a big time Grammy knot. Granny, Grammy, granny knot guy. Let's go ahead and triple knot this one just to be safe. As my voice cracks. <laughs> triple knot it. Go ahead and put a triple knot on there. <laughs> triple it. Okay, so. What I'm thinking now, because the kayak, I'm gonna be like in the kayak right here, right? And what the idea is, we want the other end to be like attached to my kayak or something. That way I can paddle out and it just slowly pulls the trot line. But the issue that we're gonna face here is that we're on this dock. And it's gonna be snag central, right? But you know what? We're just gonna have to deal with it, man. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're yeah. just gonna snake this thing real quick. Oh, I've snaked my snake. <laughs> Ew. Oh gosh. This is gonna be a frick. <laughs> Behold, Andrew, 
The great snake. Got a little snaky, snaky here, wakey, wakey, here comes snaky. <laughs> this is like a booby trap. This would be an extremely effective booby trap because it stuck up many times as we were making it. But the basic premise here, this is the rock. I'm in my kayak. I have the rock in the kayak. I slowly paddle out. You're here, just kind of like, you know, making sure all the hooks are going, right? And it's just gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna unwind the same way we laid it down the dock. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it may get stuck on the dock a little bit, but it's not gonna get stuck on each other, which is the real problem. Now comes the part that I'm really not excited about. You know what part that is? The bait? Yeah, the freaking bait. Dude, the cut bait is gonna be brutal. Dude, it's all gonna be brutal, man. Every single thing in there is gonna be brutal. Plus, it's been sitting in the back of my truck for like an hour. Just bacon. So it's just nice and heated up. Oh, I'm like getting a pre-vomit pre thing going on here. Dude, that blade is hot. Stop, bro. <laughs> I can't touch you with it. Dude, the blade is like on fire. I like touched the blade to see how sharp it was and it, it like burned me. It branded me. Woo! Feel the bags. Oh. They're like squishy. You have masks, by the way. We could pop a mask on real quick. Dude, I don't dude. know how much smell it's really gonna block. Look at this, it's like, it's bloating. Oh. Look at the bag, it's bloating. A chemical reaction Yeah, there. it's getting so hot. Oh my God. Woo! I think what we're gonna do to increase our chances of catching anything and also increasing the chances of us catching multiple species, I think we need to use every bait that we got, but we're gonna stagger them. You know what I mean? A cut bait, then a dough, a dough ball, then a cart, little strawberry pellet, <laughs> then a cut bait again, just kind of like repeat the cycle, you know what I mean? Heck yeah. So let's first start with cut bait. I do feel like this is gonna give us our, not our best chance, but I feel like it's gonna be good. You ready for this dude? Not I'm really. just gonna cut it open like a, a fisherman. Right, let's let them smell first. Jeez, dude, that's disgusting. Is that blood? Yeah, I actually don't smell anything. I don't believe you. Oh, okay, I just took a second. <laughs> oh, wow, that was... Woo, boy! Okay, all right, so let's throw a couple cut baits on here. Oh, what about that guy? He looks like he's good to go. Is this even gonna be enough? It seems like really small. Maybe put a couple on there. Put a couple on there? How do I, should I hook this guy? Oh, it's all dry, dude. It's not even juicy. These really aren't circle hooks either. I'm kind of noticing that. Put a couple more on this one. Well, some of them are juicy. That one was dry. That one doesn't have a face, so that's cool. I'm trying to get them like, you know, right behind the spine. We should probably like cut these up into smaller pieces, but I just don't really want to. I don't want to be that involved with this bait, to be honest with you. <laughs> this is gonna be the stinkiest one right here, dude. Like honestly. Oh, just the air release. Come on. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Dude, that smells like baby poop. Straight up baby poop. Oh my god, it's chicken livers. People eat chicken livers, dude. What is oh my god. god. Dang, dude. I mean, I'm not saying this is a chicken liver. I'm just saying yeah. like that's the flavor. Like people eat chicken livers. Let's get a couple. Oh gosh. Oh, just look at that. This is straight up like dog turds. Just straight up. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be pissed. It's probably not gonna stay on the hook at all. Dude, look at them. They don't even stay on the hook, bro. How's that supposed to work? Dude, I think you're supposed to put them in your mouth. Man, get a little moisture on there. You hush your mouth, okay? I ain't doing that. Dude, that's disgusting. They literally, dude, they're, they're like, oh. they're so hot, they're just like melting on the spot. Look at that. Like, they're, they're, there's no way they're gonna stay on there. All right, I think maybe those were made for those, like the treble hook ones. Yeah, with, the with like the little bait keeper on it. Right. But what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna use this to chum the water. Stay on. Oh no. Do you mind grabbing those for me, buddy? <laughs> Get out of here. We're gonna have them catfish fired up, baby. Oh, dog turds. Gross. We're just gonna see like a bunch of catfish like feeding at the surface here in a minute. It's going crazy. Oh, oh dude, <laughs> gosh, dude, it smells so bad. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next bait. Dude, the cut bait was nothing compared to that. That was the stinkiest stuff I've ever seen. Let's move on to some strawberry dough balls here. Ugh. No Come way. Come on, man, you have to smell it, dude. It's part of the process. Yeah. Smell it. I'd rather smell that than the other, man. It's still pretty gross, though. It's just like rotten strawberries. <laughs> yeah, just terribly unedible strawberries. I guess I'm just gonna thread some of these bad boys on here. I think this hook may be way big for a carp, don't you think? Carp, you kind of need a smaller hook. Are they on there good? Yeah, pretty good, yeah. Sweet. They're a little bit more like gelatinous, so they kind of like, they're they're on there. Okay. Yeah, they're on there, they're on there pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Dang, man. <laughs> that smell is still there. All right. Well, once you put that old camera down there, Andrew, help me. Ooh, got dizzy. It's really hot. Help, uh, help me bait the rest of these hooks. We'll just kind of go like carp, catfish, carp, carp, catfish, the bait. Sounds good. Kind of alternate it. Let's get her done. We're about to catch like, oh God. <laughs> 
You still need to get over there to the rock, eh? I'll swim after it. I don't even care. Just step in from the dock. That's probably what I'm about to do. Hey. I've been saying that a lot lately. Have you noticed? Yeah, it's because all you your Guggen stupid? buddies are from Chicago. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, God. Oh. The back slid off and almost <laughs> launched me out of here. Wow, this deck is really hot. Dude, the deck in here is like on fire. <laughs> God, everything is just, like you just touch stuff, everything's hot. All right, so I need the rock in the kayak with me, right? Yes, sir. Not Dwayne Johnson, the rock. <laughs> look, at, look at Andrew here just littering. Look at him. I didn't he don't, know that. He don't care, he just shoved it in the water. He's like, you know what? I don't care, I don't care about life. Spilling our bloody shad everywhere. So why don't you put the big cam down? We'll put the rock in the front with me. Cool. And I'm gonna kind of paddle away slowly and you just kind of help feed the line. The way you better be careful, getting... man. Don't hook me in the face hole. Well, that's why I say I'm gonna go. Okay. Toss that rock in here, boy. All right, buddy, the rock's in the boat. Maybe. It's already on the dock, so. You ready for this? I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna make a beeline nice for that tree easy. out there. Nice and easy. All right. As I just start thrashing the paddle. This is how people drown. Well, don't do that. You're hooked to the dock. Oh no. Oh, I can't just stop on a dime like that. No, yeah. If it's just barely tangled, it doesn't matter. All right. You're hooked to the dock. Oh my God. What are you doing? Oh no. God, Andrew, that's your job. <laughs> you had one job. Oh boy. This doesn't look good. This water feels like my bath last night. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. What about being in the bath with me? <laughs> Funny, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Krusty the Clown laugh. All right, I'm going. You better figure it out. I'm ripping it. This isn't like a light matter, homie. We're hooked on the dock yet again. We are? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Jesus. I got some forward momentum. There you go. Start tossing out in the water. There you go. Wait, one of them's up on the dock though. The one right there closest to me is up on the dock, the hook. So I'm not gonna be able to go. Well, yeah, fix that one first and I'll start dragging that. Yeah, Chuck, yeah, there we go. Now I can start at least tightening the line a little bit. You think this is a good pace? <laughs> We're gonna do all this and not catch a gosh darn thing. Oh yeah, now we got it growing. Oh, it's on dock. Okay. Faster? As fast as possible. Dude, you're killing it back there, bro. You got this. Dude, why do people run 150 foot trot lines? Why do people do this? Somebody explain this to me. Looks like everything's kind of looking good. Nothing's wrapped up. Still good to go. I'm stuck on something. I'm stuck on the dock. Keep it going, boy. Dude, we're almost gonna make it to the freaking island. <laughs> good God. We gotta catch something. We have to catch something. Oh. Am I good? That's it? All right. Drop the old rock ski. And there she goes. And that is a 150 foot trot line. I always thought it was a trout line. That's because I don't know what I'm talking about or what I'm doing. Just gonna ram the dock. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, oh, take this good? thing out. Yeah, it was great. Well, there's nothing else we can do now, hey? Except hey. wait. I wonder if when we come back, is like the line gonna be super tight? Like, would that be an indicator that there's a fish on there? I don't know. I have, I have no clue. It's pretty tight right now. Yeah, but see, not, I mean, it's kind of yeah. tight, but there's, you know, there's a little bit of like slack right there. So I wonder if there's a fish on it, if it's like completely tight. Right. You know? Or, I don't know. There's 25 freaking hooks on it, dude. There's gotta be something. Got to catch something. So, all right, well, folks, we're going to let this sit probably all day. We'll probably come back here this evening when the sun starts to go down mm. and we're expecting big fish so like i've said multiple times in this video please get in that comment section give us tips if you guys want to see this video again we're gonna need some tips to make it a little bit better but we'll see you guys in a few hours i got my big net i have a feeling we might need it how long has it been andrew um been a solid 12 don't you think 12 hours would you not give it 12 i don't know it's been a while though what's in my net all right, well, looking at the line, what do we think? I don't know. It looked pretty tight, but it looks pretty similar to where it was. Right. It looks like it's, it does look tight, but it looks like exactly where it is. I don't know. Don't have a particularly good feeling about this. So let's see here. I mean, I definitely feel some weight. Oh, wait. Hey, uh, hey there. Oh, man, I was thinking I was just like snagged on something. Okay. I just can't tell if I'm like snagged on stuff, you know? Yeah. But like what would a big fish, like you wouldn't be able to move a big fish if he didn't want to be moved. I mean, look, that that's still got bait on it right there. That hook's still got bait. What's on top of the water? Oh, 
Oh my god! There is a turtle? There's, no, there, I don't know, but there's something giant on the line. Dude, did you see that thing come up and wake? It looks huge. What but, is it? But I mean, he's not he's not fighting anymore. Look, he is. It's a giant carp, I think. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that thing. It looks like a freaking shark. It's got, I don't know, dude. There's like a big needle sticking out. I don't know, but we, we need the, grab the net. Here's the net. Oh god, what is that, bro? I don't know, but I'm, I'm stuck. That's a turtle, dude. Dude, I do. I've got a freaking turtle on there. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. We don't have any pliers, do we? Do I feel like other stuff pulling? <laughs> there's, what? What is on here? Got a freaking giant turtle. Ah! Oh, there's multiple. There's nothing else. There's a turtle and there's like a fish on it too. No way. Yes, there is. Because there's no a fish way. pulling back right now. Dude, that is a big snapping turtle, bro. Yeah, I know. This is going to be a freaking problem, dude. We don't we have don't flyers because flyers we're idiots. Dude, that is huge. Listen to him hissing, bro. Should I get dude, down yes. there? Dude, I don't know. Yeah, go show. Look at that joker. Look how mad he is, bro. Dude, a freaking snapping turtle. That is huge, What are we going to do? Can I don't you, know. Uh, can you run and go get that knife out of the bed of the truck? Yeah, that thing. Let's go. We're just gonna cut the line on this guy. We have, we have to, right? I mean, there's nothing we can do. That thing could. That thing would take your cut your off. finger. But there is another fish behind it. Look, can you show on the line? You see it? You can see it swimming right there. How big is it? How I don't, big is I don't that? know, but hey, go grab that net. Uh, okay. the, the knife. Yeah, okay, I'm right, gonna I'll hold right him back. right here. He's okay. I mean, guys, I hate to do this, but we're gonna have to cut the line as close as we can to the turtle because we can't. You stick your hand down there. I mean, you're gonna get hurt. Okay. I think he'll look at him. Look at my guy. <laughs> Look at that guy, dude. That's huge. Look, he's tired. You can tell. He's he's pretty tired. He'll be okay, though. He just needs to wake up. All right, what's, what's swimming, dude? Dude, there's, a, there's one fish right there. There may even be more. Look, we got a catfish right here. Got a freaking catfish. Dude, there's like hooks everywhere. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Be careful. Look at this. There's still more. I think there's more out there. Oh, he just came off. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let me get him by the spine. Look at my guy right here. Freaking trot line catfish. Wait, wait, wait. Look at my guy here. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> We've got all kinds of creatures. There could be more. Let's put it back because there could be more. All right, we still got like, I mean, there was like 25 hooks. You guys got to remember. So there's, okay, it's, it's kind of starting to come in now. We've got like some, some hooks have bait on them still. Some of them don't. Anything? God, it sure feels like it sometimes. I don't want something to pull one of these dang hooks into my hand. Jesus, that would suck. Yeah, that would suck. So I'm trying to like just have like a loose grip on it, you know? Gosh, that may have been it. That may have been it. God, this thing is so long, man. Oh my gosh. Why did that thing look like a shark? I don't know. The tail was like sticking up like a fin. I had never seen a snapping turtle look like that before. Okay, that might be it, man. That might be it. The rest of these, a lot of these have bait still on them. Oh my gosh. It's so long, dude. It's still coming. I don't think there's anything else on it, though. Oh my gosh. Dude, they ate side by side. It was like they were hanging out down there. That, isn't that crazy? How in the world, as my rock is still perfectly intact? Yes. How in the world? World were a snapping turtle and a catfish consuming food, the same food, the same place at the same time. That is just, holy moly, that is freaking insane. Can you even believe it, man? Dude, that's crazy. That was a huge snapping turtle, dude. Dude, that thing is, wow. That's, that's, those are the kind you do not want to run across. So I'm glad we got rid of him. Turtles, I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty, oh, easy there, guy. Yeah, this got, dock got is spooky. A crazy. I feel bad for the turtle, but don't feel too bad because turtles, they've got pretty tough mouths, especially a snapping turtle. He'll probably get rid of that hook, probably be fine. But got a catfish and a snapping turtle. I'm kind of bummed we didn't get a carp because I know there's huge carps in this lake. But like this whole time, me and Andrew have been out filming other videos and just kind of hoping that we were going to have something on these lines. I mean, but then we just kind of felt, I mean, there's 25 lines. We got to have something or 25 hooks. And sure enough, wow, just absolute insanity, guys. Holy moly. We're going to wrap up the video right here because it's so dark. We really couldn't, like we could maybe try to throw the line back out and come back tomorrow. But I really don't even feel like we need to do that. Plus, I have just showed them this mess right here that I've just created like there is no way we're getting that out you know what i mean <laughs> like that ain't oh, that easy that have been terrible that ain't happening we're not getting that out Whew. anything to add buddy that was awesome man that was pretty dang cool i see why people do this kind of a rush you know you're pulling this lineup you have no idea yeah. how many fish yeah. what kind of fish what kind of creatures turtles i mean i can't say i'm surprised about the turtle but i kind of am and this I time mean, of year man like letting the line do the work for you during yeah. that time right we did i mean it was kind of hard work laying yeah, it, it out right. making all the hooks but if you if, if we had a system to keep this like if we had like a big pool noodle to wrap it around yeah, and like stick the hooks cool. in it that way we wouldn't make a mess it'd be a cool thing to keep and just like run one every morning before you go do whatever you're gonna do and then come back in the evening check it and lord knows what you're gonna have on there. it could have anything on there but guys if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more smash the thumbs up button get in that comment section all you try
spot liners out there. Tell us what we did wrong, which there was probably too many things to count. So just give us your main takeaway of things we could do to make the experience better. We can catch more fish. Maybe the bait that we put on there wasn't really right. Could have been a million different things, but main thing is we had fun, me and Andrew. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Join the Lojo Outdoor fam, the best subscribers on YouTube. And we will be doing stuff like this more and more throughout the future. Make sure you have all notifications enabled next to the subscribe button. That way you do not miss a single upload on the channel. Guys, we are getting out of here. Thank you so much for watching. On to the next outdoor adventure. Fist bump, we out.